Hey friends, Lois with Ellie Grace's Attic here. Um, oh my goodness, let me take this off. I can't see any comments if they come through, but I couldn't stand that glare. <laughs> anyway, let me introduce myself. Lois with Ellie Grace's Attic here. Um, I'm the owner of Ellie Grace's Attic, and we take old treasures, give them new life with handcrafted love. Um, today's live, nothing to do with crafts nothing to do with signs, but I had to share something with you guys that I'm really excited about. First of all, let me just say, and maybe you already know this, I'm going to give you a little service, uh, public service announcement. You might have already known, but if you did, hey, good for you. If not, act excited with me. <laughs> First of all, let me say I am all about working smarter, not harder, right? Anything to make my life easy, to get things done quicker, to um, be able to spend more time with my family and my friends, and to get to serve you guys, to do the things I need to do to serve you to the best of my ability. So one of my most well, it's not my most unfavorite chore, but it's in the top five is the laundry, right? And anybody out there knows, any, especially moms, the laundry never ends, right? And um, so anything you can do to make your life easier where that's involved. So let me also say, I am not fancy not a fancy fancy girl i do love some shoes i love clothes but i'm not one of those girls that has to have you know i don't like big diamond rings or anything like that those are nice sweetheart if you're listening those are nice but i don't have to have those things i'm not about those things if I've, i'm ever asked what i want for anything diamonds or any any crazy expensive stuff right i love the little things and um my love language is quality time, right? Spend time with me. That's gift enough. But anyway, so now that you know that about me, you'll see why I'm so stinking excited about this. Um, so anyway, let me, New, was it New Year's Day? New Year's Day. What a way to start the new year, right? Our dryer went out with a load of laundry in it. Thank God it was just the, it was the last load. It was a very small load of towels. Um, and I went to get them out thinking they were done. They were still wet. And I thought, well, that's weird. So I thought, perhaps I did not st press start because I'm guilty. I've been known to do that. I've been known to go back and I had forgot to hit start. Um, I don't know what's going on with my lighting. Anyway, it wouldn't start. I pressed the start button. It, it started, but when I pressed go, it wouldn't go. So my husband, get, thank God he's handy. Sweetheart, I love you. So anyway, he goes in there, he checks it out. The belt is broke. Okay, fine, we get on the phone, we order and uh, some type of little wheel. Anyway, we get it ordered. It comes in uh, Saturday, the Saturday after New Year's. Didn't have all the parts. Part of the wheel was missing something. So we had to call back get that credited reorder yada yada it comes in my sweetheart was out of town on work right on monday he had to leave for work out of town he didn't get home till yesterday five ish six ish and he right away fixed my dryer put it all back together and fixed it um, so that's love right there that he came home he had a five-hour drive home and he fixed my dryer right when he came in so that was gift enough in itself he's so sweet to me but that's not the thing I'm most excited about yet and when you see my laundry room you'll see I got a week's worth of laundry in there don't you know don't judge me but I couldn't help it but back up to Saturday when we got the first part in and by the way praise the Lord for YouTube um, cause that's how he figured out how to do it. He's handy, but YouTube helped. Um, so to get this belt changed out, all of this, he basically had to take this dryer. We have the front load washer and dryer. So he basically had to take it apart, right? Well, um, he got it apart, realized we didn't have the right things we needed and everything but so he said let me put it back together because he knew he was going to go out of town and y'all when you take something like that apart there's a bunch of screws 
And I will say he may or may not have a couple screws left over after he got it back <laughs> together, but it runs. But the point is, so he, he's putting it back together even though it's not fixed because he didn't want to lose any screws or anyone to do it while it was fresh in his memory. So while he did that, when he put it back together, he fixed this major issue that I had with the dryer. So I'm gonna show you what it is and you can laugh at me, but it has made a world of difference. So I'm gonna flip the camera around here in just a second and move. So don't laugh too hard, but it's awesome. Hold on. All right, so this is my laundry room. There's all the weeks worth of laundry. Don't judge me. <laughs> So this is the deal. These are our front load washer and dryer. And this is what he fixed. You'll see the washer door opens. I'm gonna try not to make you too dizzy, right? It opens like that to the left. For years, and I've had, yeah, about five years, the dryer opened the same way. Both doors opened like this, right? And this door opened so I would have to lift the wet laundry out and go over the door to get in the dryer or around the door to get in the dryer. Look what my sweetheart did. He changed the door. Shut up. Is that not awesome? <laughs> so now I just have to take the clothes out of the washer and just poof right inside the dryer. That is the best thing since sliced bread. You guys can laugh at me, but I am so stinking excited about <laughs> that door being flipped. So that's what I wanted to tell you about. <clears throat> I'm gonna change my laundry out right here while we're talking because it's so easy. So I am so stinking excited because it's gonna make my life so much easier. I'm gonna get to do the laundry faster. I won't have to pull my back out, getting the wet clothes over the door or around the door and as you can see it's kind of tight in here so to go around that door it was really a big deal and a pain in my hind end if I can be honest so I just wanted to remind you guys it's the little things it's the little things that mean so much so don't be so busy focused on the big things that you miss the little things so anyway I told him he was he was awesome and he was my hero for <laughs> fixing my dryer door. So anyway, you guys have a great rest of the day. That was my super excited announcement. So if you didn't know that and you have dryer or washer and dryer like this, well now you know you can switch the door. I mean, I had complained about it thinking who designed this, right? But you couldn't unless you took it apart, you would have never known. I mean, I guess we could have Googled it, but I guess we just thought it came that way and you couldn't change it. So anyway, now you know, if you have this same set or something similar and you have that same problem, you can totally flip that sucker. So anyway, focus on the little things, the things that matter most. So until I see y'all again, happy crafting, guys. Have a good day. Love y'all.